Hello, my name is Karen and I'm currently teaching myself web development and right now I'm working on this cat clicker challenge which is part of the HTML and JavaScript making web pages interactive course on Khan Academy. So we've learned um, about event listeners in the past video that we watched uh, for this challenge. So uh, right now we're, we're starting to learn about actually making websites interactive. So that, that's what we're doing for this challenge. So it says to store the element, and then it says in this challenge, you'll make it so the user, you, can pet the cat and see it meow. In this first step, find the cat image element and store it in a variable. Cool. All right, so let's go down to our script tag. Uh, we need to create a variable. So as always, we're gonna start with var, and then I'm gonna say cat image l because the variable is of this cat image. And then it says, find the cat image element. Okay, so right here we have this image element and it has this ID, cat pick. So I'm gonna find it, quote unquote, with my JavaScript using document.getElementById and I'm gonna use cat pick. Cool. All right, so Hoppers popped up and said, Getting closer. All right, let's move on to the next step. Uh, define the callback function. Now define a callback function that changes the inner text of the cat chat div to say meow or whatever you think cats say when you pet them. All right, I'm not exactly sure what the difference is between a callback function and a function, but we have this hint text here, so I'm gonna keep going and maybe it'll become clear to me as we go. So variable, on cat click equals function do 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 uh, cool is something weird something's going on that's weird why okay that's weird okay I get I guess I just had an extra curly bracket there okay cool um, so it says, so I, I looked at this hint text to write my function, which is called on cat click. All right. And then it says the callback function should change the inner text of the cat div, cat chat div to say meow. All right. So this function is going to change this and it's going to add text to it. Currently there's nothing. All right, so before before we can change it, I think we actually need to store this this div in a new variable. I don't think I can change this without storing it in a variable. So I'm going to go, even though it's not telling me to do this, I think I need to do this. So variable, variable cat chat equals document dot get element by ID. Okay, yeah, they had a handy, diddle, handy dandy little ID here, which makes me think I'm supposed to find that and store it in a variable. <laughs> um, it's not the best way to do challenges, but I'm looking for whatever hints I can get here. All right, so we've created this variable, cat chat, and now we can change it using text content. Okay, Hopper popped up, that's good. Um, meow. Awesome. So I guess, yeah, that, that's what we needed to do. We needed to create a variable with this um, div stored in it, and then we can reference that variable and change its text content property to meow. Cool, next step. All right, now it says, assign the callback function as the event listener for the click event for the cat image. All right, so this is what confuses me sometimes. So we have this hint that says blank dot add event listener. Okay, so we're gonna start out with the cat image L because that is what, where we, we wanna have the event listener on this image because that's where we want people to click uh, and then have something happen. 
So we're adding this add event listener, this event listener, <laughs> um, to that element. Um, so cat image l dot add event listener, and then the event that we want to add is a click event, and then the function we want to call is on cat click. Okay, that didn't do anything, but I am missing a comma. So, aha. Yay, so Hobby popped up and said, awesome, you can do it. Let's see what the next step says. All right, so the directions are, make sure you click the cat to check that it works. Cats love being petted. Okay, cool. Awesome, Hopper popped up with her cool glasses saying congratulations. And congratulations to all of you if you made it this far through the course and if you made it through the video. I hope it helped and I will see you in the next challenge.